Welcome to the 10 item capsule wardrobe talk through for fall. Hi everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I'm so happy to be here with you today to talk about the fall 10 item capsule wardrobe. And if you haven't seen my video from Monday, I will leave it linked down below. I tried something different this year. Normally I film myself. It's very mom and pop, like I just get out my camera and it takes me forever to do this. This time I worked with a very talented director and producer on the film. So just, I wanna thank Troy and his team so much. It was so fun to shoot the 10 item capsule wardrobe and Ben was there making me smile every step of the way. A little fun fact, it was about 100 degrees when I shot this, so I was so hot. My feet and ankles were swollen. <laughs> <laughs> but I was trying to pretend like it was fall. I was trying to pretend like I was cold. So um, that's just the magic of film. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you're going to recognize so many of the pieces that were already in the 10 item capsule wardrobe. Only a few new core pieces this year. The majority of the items shown were returning from previous years. The way the video was presented might be confusing to people who are new to the 10 item capsule wardrobe. If you are new, I highly recommend you read my book, Lessons from Madame Chic. Also watch my TEDx talk on the subject, which goes over the 10 item wardrobe extensively. But basically, the 10 refers to the 10 core items in your wardrobe. You are going to add extras to build those core items up and to create beautiful outfits. So let's go over the 10 core items right now. The first core item is this skirt by Kate Kaysen. This is a new addition to the wardrobe and it is a very fall skirt. So it's plaid. I absolutely love it. And I actually found it on Amazon. So yes, I will leave that linked down below for you. This is a skirt that is very fall. So I will definitely be retiring this probably the day after Thanksgiving <laughs> as we head into Christmas and I'll be replacing it with something else for my winter wardrobe. But I love the fall colors. Um, that beautiful camel color along with the navy looks really good. And this is gonna go with a lot of my camisoles and my tops in my 10 item wardrobe. So I'm excited to style this for the upcoming fall season. The second new addition is this beautiful black dress from Sky. It's so unique. It has velvet texture to it, but also has some see-through elements to it as well. It comes with a slip, so you can't see through everything. But it's such a gorgeous dress. This would make a great dress for fall. It would also make a good holiday or party dress if you feel that it's too dressy for every day. But I personally love to wear black, and I just feel so at home in this dress. I love it. I know that it's a bit countercultural right now. It's not like the most popular look, but that's how Sky's clothing is. They have beautiful clothes. I will leave them linked down below and they also give me a discount code. But I love this black dress. Um, it's just gorgeous. That's my main new addition to the wardrobe this year. Next, we're going to see the J. Jill dress. This is that charcoal gray wrap dress that I had from last year, and it's making a reappearance this year. This is a really high quality dress, and it's very neutral, so I can wear it with a lot of different looks. I paired it with this scarf by Mon Kiji. And don't worry, we're gonna get to the extras and all the things I've paired it with uh, later. But the next core item is that J. Jill dress. Next in my core items is this Velvet by Graham and Spencer plaid dress. I love plaid for the fall and winter season. And this dress was here last year and it's back again. I absolutely love it. There's so many ways to style it. So I'm thrilled that this is making a reappearance. This is no longer available, so I will leave similar dresses linked down below. Another returning item is the Everlane dress, and I love this color, it's so fall. So once again, this will only be for the fall season, I will not be bringing this into winter, but it's a beautiful dress, I've already enjoyed wearing it. There are some challenges to it, it's hard to get the wrinkles out completely, um, and it is a solid color, so if I stain it, you can really see the stains. But the dress still looks really good, and I definitely plan on wearing it this entire fall season. Next is the Draper James Chambray Shift Dress. This was in my spring 10 item wardrobe, and I decided to retire it for summer because it's a bit of a heavier denim fabric, and I'm bringing it back now in the fall. Now, this dress is very shapeless, so it's uh, just a shift dress. And it's even a little bit big on me because I have lost some weight since I bought this dress. 
but I do plan to style it in various ways, to wear it with trench coats, I can wear it with a turtleneck underneath, I can wear it with knee-high boots. I'm just looking forward to wearing it this season and styling it in different ways. I like to get very neutral dresses like this, like this one and the J. Jill one, for example, because there's so many ways you can style it. In the video, I just showed it plain with the, the mules that I'm wearing, and um, that's one way to wear it, but there's so many different ways that I plan to style this for fall. Next core item is this blouse by Lily Silk. This is a midnight blue silk blouse. I partnered with Lily Silk last spring and I showed this blouse and I pretty much retired it knowing that I would bring it out in the fall because I feel like it's just more of a fall winter look and I love the midnight blue on it. The next core item is the Mott & Bow Mom Jean. I love these jeans, I've had them for years now and they still look amazing. They're just my favorite shape. I love that crop, it's the perfect crop and fit. Next we have another Lily Silk blouse. This is another new addition this year and I feel like this look is the Pirates of Panzance look. This is my pirate look. <laughs> so I have this gorgeous romantic ruffle Lily Silk blouse paired with the black Mountain Bow jeans which is the next core item or the last core item I should say and uh, my captain boots, which I'll get to in just a moment. So those are my 10 core items this year for my capsule wardrobe. As you can see, the core items are comprised of dresses, trousers, and blouses for me. It could be different for you. Also, I have a skirt in there. Basically, the core main pieces. Now let's talk about the extras that I'm wearing with them to complement the looks. All right, going back to the skirt, I'm wearing it with the Lily Silk camisole and the Mercy wrap and the shoes are by Oliver Cabell. Those are those gorgeous mules. So this is how I've decided to style this particular look. Camisoles are layering pieces. They are in your extras. So this camisole I probably wouldn't wear on its own. I would always wear underneath a sweater or something of that nature. The Mercy wraps are absolutely gorgeous. This is a cashmere wrap. I love it because it just keeps you so warm. It's so soft. I'm a huge fan of Mercy and I have them linked down below. The Oliver Cabell mules are perfect for fall transitional weather. So if it's still kind of hot outside but you want to look like you're in fall, these are a great alternative to sandals. And I wanna show you the bracelet that I have on here. This is from a brand called Capsule. They have custom jewelry options. So I have these beautiful blocks. Each has an initial of one of my children's names on it. So it's just a very special bracelet and it's so beautiful. They're gonna be in my holiday gift guide. Both of the new earrings I show you are from Sky from their fall winter collection coming up and they're so pretty and beautiful and festive. So I love that along with the capsule bracelet. So pretty for fall. The gorgeous scarf that I'm wearing with the J-Jill dress is by Mon Kiji, designed by my friend Jen He, and she's such an artisan. These are gorgeous Parisian silk scarves and they're so beautiful. This one's called the Secret Garden Scarf. The other two sweaters I want to bring to your attention are also from Mercy. You would have seen these in my uh, preparing my 10 item wardrobe for fall video. So I have that gorgeous olive travel sweater, which is very roomy. And the great thing about it is that it doesn't cling to the underarm area. It's quite loose, which is quite good because if you travel, you don't want it to be clingy in case you perspire. So that actually really worked well for me since it was 100 degrees when I shot this video. <laughs> so I love that sweater. And then also this Hampton Duster sweater um, that I'm wearing at the end here. These are sweaters, they're extras, and they're going to keep me warm throughout the fall and winter season. The t-shirt I'm wearing at the end is by Mott and & Bow, and I have this striped t-shirt as well as two other cropped t-shirts. Now they're not so cropped that they show the midriff, they're just the perfect crop. And you're gonna see more of those in my Outfit of the Week videos coming up. But it's a great t-shirt and super affordable, and I just love them, they fit really well. Let's talk about the shoes. So I finally got the Captains by the Thursday Boot Company. I love these boots, I love them. They bring out the Victorian in me. I love the lace-up boots. These are so high quality, they're gonna last so long. I have them in two colors. Uh, this mute kind of matte black as well as this old English leather. I love these boots. I can wear them with dresses. I wear them with jeans. Also the Oliver Cabell shoes, the mules, as well as the driving shoe. This driving shoe is so good. I love it. So buttery, so comfortable, and it looks really good with the cropped uh, mom jean from Mott & Bow. So there you have it. That is a talk through of my 10 item capsule wardrobe. The majority of the pieces are returning. For everything that's no longer available, I will try to find similar items and link them down below. I feel 
feel that all the new items really complement them well. And that's what I love about the 10 item wardrobe. As you progress, you move closer and closer toward your true style. So I would love to know how your 10 item wardrobe is coming along this season or your fall wardrobe planning in general. What are your plans this year? What are your favorite pieces? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.